Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we are back once again digging into the game because of some major news that just hit and it's going to be coming very soon to the game. This video today is going to be a little bit different than my usual video where I'm not going to be talking about guides and things like that, but instead I'm going to be talking about some major news, some huge features that are going to be coming and some things that you might want to look out for if you've been a bad boy. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about a bunch of different things. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And like I said, if you're new to the channel and you guys don't know, I have a ton of Fallout 76 guys that are still very relevant and they are extremely helpful to new players and anybody in between. It doesn't matter what level you are. Most of this stuff is going to be relevant to you. And so if you're looking for guides and information on the game, definitely go back and check those out as there's a lot of good stuff in there. So Inside the Vault came out today. Well, you'll see this video on Friday, but basically it came out today and there was some major news and information within the notes. And if you missed it, you got to check these because there's some really good stuff in there. Bethesda is continuing to improve upon the gameplay experience and they said that they fixed over 150 bugs this week. Now, I hope that not a lot of bugs were created in doing so. Seems to always be the case with any developers. Like, they fix bugs and then other bugs come from the bugs that they fixed and it just seems like a cycle. But, along with fixing the bugs that they said they fixed, they also fixed some major exploits and also handed out a ton of bans. They said that they're working hard to find, fix, and address these exploits as they they show up. Once they find an exploit and they identify it, they look for people abusing it and then they remove those people. I mean, that's like what happens in every game. But so if you're thinking about using a new exploit, you might want to think twice. I think some of the old ones that people use, they're not really concerned about. It's these new ones like game breaking, breaking servers, things like that. And then these exploits, they say, range from duping, using cheat apps or mods, which if you guys missed that, people were using these cheat apps and mods to, uh, to access a secret developer room and there was all kinds of different things in there I won't really go into those videos on YouTube but it, basically it was a secret room with a bunch of different test things things that are coming in the game and the people who were using that were promptly banned I mean extremely quickly and so if you're thinking about using an exploit I would say don't do it and just report it and then that way it's taken care of quickly and then it's a fair environment for everybody so the next patch that's coming to the game is called Patch 5, and this makes me sad, but I can see why they did it. There are going to be changes to two-shot and explosive legendary mods. No! <laughs> Still going to be OP though. But anyway, the two-shot and explosive legendary mods will be undergoing a few balance changes in the next patch. You can still find them in the game world. They're just being tweaked. And so there's been a lot of frustration of people saying that like these are super powerful. They are really overpowered in player versus player combat, which really player versus player combat is like you're hunting down a guy who is killing people and they're hiding from people and you come up and you one shot them. I mean, there's not a lot of PvP action going on anyway. And most people who are in that situation probably don't want to fight anyway. So with patch five though, the damage bonus for the two shot legendary modded weapons has been reduced from plus 100% to plus 25% damage. And then they had it crossed out. It says, and the two-shot legendary mod can no longer be looted in the world. That's not true. You can still loot it. The explosive legendary mod has a reduced damage bonus, now adding plus 20% of the base weapon damage with explosive radius damage instead of plus 100%. So going from plus 100% to 25 and 20, that's massive. However, they'll still be super powerful. And so uh, it's it's going to be something that I think is still the desired thing to find. And if you can find it, you know, that's like a golden ticket to like awesomeness in the game. So at this point in the video, I want to ask you a question. What do you think about this? Are you glad that they're making these changes? Are you sad and mad that they're making these changes? Do you think it will really matter much? Now, I know why they're doing this. It's not so much like they say the PvP aspect in game or whatever. It doesn't matter. And you playing solo and killing things doesn't matter. You still can't really kill a, a Scorch Beast Queen with a two-shot explosive weapon very easily. The thing's got insane HP and armor and it takes ages to do anything to it and so I don't think like it's a big thing but I think the reason why they are doing that is because of what's coming and what's coming is PvP 
So if you're not aware, they teased a while back that there's going to be a PvP mode coming to the game. And basically, we've now found out, and I kind of already assumed this because it only makes sense, there's going to be a new option access from the main menu to go into this PvP mode. This mode will be designed for fans that want a more hardcore PvP experience. The rules of PvP as they currently are in game are not changing outside of the new mode. However, you uh, the PvP restrictions and the rules are basically going to be removed and so it's going to be insane. So think of it like playing the game you're playing right now but with no PvP rules. It's going to be like no holds bar insane action it's going to be tension drama insane consequences and this is the thing though i i like the idea of this right but what incentive is there really to doing this is there an incentive to this i don't know what are your thoughts about this because i look at that and i say what's the point of playing the pvp mode especially if like my base is going to get destroyed and I got to repair my stuff all the time or something, you know, like maybe make resources. No, you, cause you can't make resources more abundant. Like how is it going to operate? What are your thoughts about this? Because I, I've seen games do this type of thing where they into implement a PVP version, but there's no reward payoff for it. Maybe they make a leaderboard system and they put in like Adam rewards or something at the end of the week or whatever. I don't know. But all I know is that you have to give incentive for a PvP mode, for it to really work well, unless you just want that experience. Because, I mean, how often do you really encounter players in the game? I mean, I actually do quite a bit, depending on where you go. But as far as like what the game was going to be like, like what I mean, and then if you if you haven't seen a while back, people were data mining and they found a team based PvP system, like uh, like team deathmatch essentially. And so I've always had this in my mind of like these big faction locations and these big bases that you can spawn in. It's like the central hub of the world for your faction. I know there's faction battles coming too, so it kind of makes sense. But like there's a lot that you could do with this, and I really hope they get it right. So the other thing that they talked about in the patch, and it's not really patch notes, but in the notes they said they want to, they want you to help them shape in-game events. Now if you don't know, Fallout 76, like the way that they wanted to be designed is this ongoing development of a changing game that fits the needs of the players and it's like shaped by the community. And so if you want to feed, if you want to part of in that, give your feedback and basically what they're asking is to hear your thoughts specifically on in-game events, specifically aspects of events that you really enjoy and want to see as, uh, see them like double down on and like areas that they can improve on. So they basically say, share your feedback on the forums or on reddit and they want to know which events do you feel are the most rewarding to you now as i grow in level for me there's that's few and far in between i mean uranium of uranium fevers like the main one because it's easily it's it comes up often it's easy accessible it's not hard to do and it's extremely rewarding you know certain other events are like what's the point of doing this um like at lower levels like collision course is a, an amazing event to do because you can get so many different rewards and you can get uh, lots of different mods unlocked and weapon crafting wep weapons and things like that. That's what I meant by mods. Uh, but like, you know what I mean? So you can scrap all those weapons, you can sell them, you can make a lot from it. It's a very, very useful event. So then they also ask, which events do you not care about doing or dislike? Like, there's a lot that I don't care about doing. And then they want to know why. Which events do you prefer to play in a team versus solo and why? And what types of events would you like to see in the game? So they're asking like, hey, give us your feedback. Tell us what you want to see in game. And there's some really cool things. I thought of like like a capture the flag type of PvP thing where you got to hunt down the person who, not capture the flag, but like they stole some like document or something. You know what I mean? Like the first one to Silo uh, C or whatever, Silo Charlie, and they go and they steal a document and you got to hunt them down on the map and like take it back or something like that. And you can't fast travel. I don't know, like cool things like that. Like it would really take a while to do things and it could be really cool. Um, so how do you join events? Do you fast travel? Do you go to a location expecting to start an event? Like, are you just hanging out and waiting? How would you feel about bonuses for completing a daily or weekly event? Absolutely, freaking lootly put this in the game. Make daily events, bonus, like, weekly events, and, like, give, like, rewards. Like, give things that people actually want, not just, like, some crap weapon or something that's not, it's pointless. Give us, give us atoms. 
I want to customize things. I want to make things happen. And you get people hooked on atoms, they're going to buy more atoms. That's what happens with microtransactions. So they basically are saying, you know, different events are at different stages. And so they kind of, they just want feedback. And so uh, in this video specifically, I want to hear your thoughts on a couple things. One, how do you think PvP is going to play out? And what could they do to make it better? Um, or make it really good, not make it better because it's not even, it's, I mean, yeah, PvP is in game right now, but like we don't know what the mode's going to look like. So the PvP mode, what that's going to look like and what they could do to make it really awesome. What do you think about two shot and explosive weapons being nerfed? I think if they nerf it, they ought to like increase the chances of people being able to find it because it seems like they significantly nerfed it and they gotta like help people out with that because like everybody i think like it, it, you don't want everybody to have explosive stuff but like make it a little bit more common than what it is because they nerfed it after people were finding like crazy at white springs when it was all glitched out back in the day so like what are your thoughts about the two shot and explosive nerf and then also like what kind of events would you like to see in game so i know this video is a little bit short it's a news based video it's not anything like too crazy but uh just love to hear your thoughts on the on patch five on these notes uh if you guys haven't been checking these definitely make sure to check the inside of the vaults because they're they're very useful to know like what's coming and then uh if you guys have any other ideas or thoughts of how things can go i would love to hear it i hope you guys are having a great day thanks for stopping by the channel once again definitely make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and you're looking for more fallout content because i'm not stopping anytime soon okay this game is going to continue for a long time because it's good in the sense that it is now and it's only going to get better and i think it's going to be like a no man's sky type of situation where it was okay when it came out people were very disappointed and then a year later people were like i freaking love this game man look what they did it's like the best game ever like everyone freaked out about no man's sky coming back around and how awesome it was even though i haven't played it in a long time but you get the point anyway i hope you guys are having a great day thanks for stopping by i'm done rambling see you next time